record this. So crypto therapy, do you have a crypto question? You can call us toll free at one triple eight nine zero token. That's one eight 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 nine zero eight six five three six. Go there, leave your voicemail, ask any question for Bill and I to answer, and we'll do our best to answer that on the show. So this is actually a question from Mike, who is in the private network. First of all, Mike, thank you so much for being a member of the professional network. Always great having you in the chat. So uh, let, let me pl- go ahead and play the, the audio. Let me know if you can hear this, Bill. Can you hear? No. No? Okay. Okay, I mean, try this again. Yeah. Hey, I got two questions for you. Can you hear now? Um, yeah. Question number one, what do you think will happen as far as the Fed and its balance sheet? Will it add crypto to it eventually? If so, do you think it'll be sooner? Or do you think it'll be a little bit later? Um, with all this talk about CBDCs, you know, uh, central bank digital yes. currencies, you know, are they blockchain? Are they not blockchain? There's a lot of confusion on that. Um, I think that would actually be an additional second topic. Uh, my third question really. Okay. So let's first answer that question. So will the Fed add crypto to a balance sheet? Actually, I mean, so Bill has a very uh, interesting take on this. So I'll have Bill go first. Bill. Hey, folks, this is a no brainer. Okay. Once upon a time, the Fed would do quantitative easing, but that was supposedly just in bonds. So the Fed would print money, buy bonds, put the bonds on their balance sheet, right? Now, magically, every time the Fed would do that, S&P would go up. (laughs) So the Fed never told anybody that they had S&P on their balance sheet. And we didn't know that until they started doing it officially in March. But let's think about this. Why wouldn't the Feds bought everything else? They bought the whole corporate junk bond market. What's what's left? What's left? Okay. And let's face it, there was a very ugly incident between the Treasury and the Fed, where the Treasury, apparently in in some sort of like scorched earth policy, the Treasury told the Fed that it couldn't do any more of a certain type of emergency loans. And the Fed was furious, right? Fed was like, you know, it's the end of the year. It's the holidays. What are you doing? So why am I telling you this? Well, because the Fed could buy crypto slowly, not, you know, not just moon everything, but just slowly join the list of people who are just going to drain all the big crypto out of the market. And then people open up Coinbase or PayPal and there's the Fed instead of handing out digital dollar, which we've talked about, which you can use to buy a variety of things. Now you put crypto inside PayPal and then the Fed puts crypto on its balance sheet or people are, you can get a Binance or Coinbase one day debit card. And the next thing you know, the Fed can do a very small program that can put purchasing power in a lot of people's hands. People cannot pay their bills. I mean, They're closing highways to hand out food. I mean, I know it's a crypto show, but the Fed and crypto is easy. And also, one more thing. You know, the Chinese are like, oh, you know, we're super cool. We're we're coming out with our digital currency. You know what, folks? Let me tell you something. If the Fed gets involved or the Fed is said to get involved or anybody talks about it, and crypto starts mooning, what do you want to own? The digital Renminbi or ETH at 500 on its way to 2000? You know, the excitement level of getting these cryptocurrencies moving and the wealth effect it can have for Americans is compelling. And and the Fed's going to get involved if they're not involved already. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so I definitely do agree. I think that is a possibility. I think I'm probably more cautious because I feel like once that happens, I mean, the, the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> I mean, like pretty much it's like all systems go. But I think my, my opinion is that a different country, probably a smaller country, 
will be the first guinea pig to do it. I don't think America would be that brave enough to be first to do it. They'll probably just wait and see and some of the small country do it and see how that goes and then kind of adapt from that. But I think eventually in the future, I think it's definitely going to happen, right? Because I mean, if they're going to have digital dollar, I think it's inevitable, especially if Bitcoin keeps on, if Bitcoin becomes the uh, reserve currency of the internet, they have to, they have to. And I think that's the path we're heading, we're heading towards. All right, uh, great question, Michael.